Thank you for joining us again for another Facebook Live. Um, I'm afraid I only decided what we were making 20 minutes ago. Um, <clears throat> that's why I didn't tell you all in advance. So it's probably not the best. <laughs> Uh, but it's a llama corn. Is that what you, is that we call them? A llama corn? I think it is called a llama corn, yes. Yeah. I think people suggested it. Give me one second while Richard's sorting out the cat. And Richard's put the volume on as well. Okay, so one second. What do you want to shout? Go shout, Stephen. Stay. So as soon as we set up, somebody comes to the door to deliver stuff. <laughs> Typical. Okay, so the first one I did was pale yellow. The next one's going to be a pink one, I think. We'll try it in pink, we'll see what it looks like. Um, what I did was, I am gonna make some legs for it, but I actually made some legs sort of 20 minutes ago as well, so that they'd go a little bit firm so that I can put all the weight of the llama corn on there, okay? So for today, we are using the Saracino modeling paste because it sets really nice and firm, but it also gives me a little bit of time to work with it. It's fairly cold where I am today, so, um, it's going to take a little bit of kneading. In fact, I actually stuck it in the microwave a tiny bit before um, we went live. But I'm still going to need to give it a bit more of a knead. Okay. And I've been really bad with measurements today, guys, because I didn't weigh anything, so I do apologize. But I just want a small bit to start with, really. So, I'm just going to knead it till it's nice and smooth. Okay, so it becomes more like a chewing gum-like consistency. So the heat from my hands should bring it round to the consistency that I want. My hands are actually really cold again today. It's really cold where we are, isn't it? The it's really shiny, though. Yeah, but it's really cold in here. It is cold. Okay, so I'm going to try and roll out my cracks and creases. The warmer your hands, the easier those cracks and creases do disappear. And then I'm going to roll it to the thickness that I want the legs. The legs are just tiny little dumpy legs on mine. If you want to do them bigger, that's fine. You can you can cut them taller. I cut each of mine just over a centimeter in length. So can you see my board has got squares on it? These are centimeter squares. So I'm going to cut off the little round end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them actually to about a centimeter and a half. So one and a half of those squares. Okay, so we're going to need four of these. And I guarantee they will not still be the same length. They never are. It kind of squashes a little bit where we cut it. So I'll just try and round them back off a little bit there. Let's see if we can stand them up. Oops. So just rounding them off. As long as they're a similar height, they will kind of squash a little bit under the weight of the body. So if one's only a tiny bit taller than the others, it's not too big a difference. Now these ones are actually a bit slimmer than my other set of legs, but that's fine. This one will make a slightly smaller llamacon. Llamacon? I don't know how, I, how if I'm saying it right. So those ones can just go to the side for sort of 10, 15 minutes. I'll probably just start building on these ones now anyway, just because these ones are nice and firm. So I'll do it on the polystyrene. I should really move that one out of the way. I'll try doing that in a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my legs on the polystyrene. It's easier if I work on a polystyrene base, it's less likely to fall apart as I'm doing it. It's up to you whether you want all four legs really pushed close together like that. It does give you a fairly firm base, but you can, if you want, spread them apart slightly. I'm gonna spread them slightly. I put them together on that one. So on this one, I'm gonna spread them apart and then you can see the difference. Maybe those two look most like those two those ones like that. Actually, I'm going to keep them close together that way, otherwise it's going to have to have a really wide body. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a cocktail stick in each leg so that it's got lots of support. We can remove these later, hopefully. I'm going to try and show you on that one in a little bit. I've literally only just made that one, so I don't want to move it straight away though. So I'm going to push these all the way down into my polystyrene. So there's only a tiny bit of it sticking out the top of each leg, and that's fine. I'm hoping to later pull this off and then pull the sticks out the bottom and the legs hopefully still stay in place we shall see that's my plan okay so then i'm ready for the body but what i'm going to do is put plenty of water on top of these so that, that has time to be going tacky while i'm working on the body itself so i'm using water you can use edible glue if you prefer either works okay i'm going to cut this a bit smaller to make it easier for me to knead Okay, so this one's hardened up again already. 
which means it's going to be harder for me to roll out the creases and the cracks that are forming it. So usually what I'm doing when I'm deciding on a size is I'll roll a rough ball and then I'll hold it against my legs so I can see. Mm. Might be big enough for the body but probably not big enough for the neck as well. So if I add, yeah, I add that amount. That amount. <laughs> I'm very specific, aren't I, about that amount. I did mean to bring over some weight and scales and I did forget. So apologies guys, I know a lot of you guys like to have measurements and those of you that watch me regularly know I don't work very well with measurements it's very much guessing it you know if it doesn't look right you can take a bit off or you can add a bit more to it so just spending the time needing it so anybody that's just joining us now it's the Saracino modeling paste that we've got now they actually it does come in light pink but can you see mine's slightly different this one's actually the darker pink but then I mixed a little bit of white into it Okay, almost there with the kneading. So I'm gonna try and rub all the creases and cracks to one side. So that if I can't get rid of them, at least I can hide them underneath <clears throat> where it's gonna join with the legs. My hands are cold. <laughs> I'm barely getting any heat into this paste. This is where usually, like if I'm in a class, I just ask one of the students to hold it for me for five minutes because usually the students have got really warm hands. It seems weird, I've not done any classes for three weeks now. Is it three weeks now? Yeah, it is, doesn't it? It seems weird, normally I'd be teaching face to face. Okay. We've got a lot of people joining you saying hello to everybody. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. Got some regulars, some names that we recognise. Oh good. Richard's obviously not going to tell me the names. <laughs> I thought he was going to tell me who was joining us. Tasha, Sheila, Hi Tasha. Hi Sheila. Julie. Hi everybody, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us. Hopefully you're not too disappointed by today's, it's not a very exciting one. I literally I forgot to arrange what we were doing, so I had a quick look through everyone's suggestions from last time. Um, and we decided on the little llama corn. So I'm just trying to pull out a bit that will become the neck, because I think they've got fairly long necks. I say that like they're a real thing and that... <laughs> I've got to make sure it's right. It's just a llama, isn't it, with a unicorn horn? I think so. Llamas have fairly long necks. I don't think their legs are actually quite as short as what I've made them, <laughs> but that's fine. We're going to texture it as well, so it doesn't matter too much if I don't get a really nice smooth finish on it. Again, I'll just hold it next to there. I need to make sure it's at least the length of my legs here. Otherwise, my legs will end up poking out, and I need to make sure slightly wider than my legs as well. This one's a smaller one than that one, but I think that's okay. This can be mum. This can be baby. Okay. Um, if I don't want a smooth finish, if I want it to look a little bit bumpier, I will use my tool that I've lost. Oh, my balling tool. Let's just put in. So it's going to look weird at the moment. It's just so that it's not too much of a flat surface to start with. In fact, I'm going to press this top bit in a little bit because that's where my face is going to sit. So we'll get the face into that bit. Okay, I can put more of these lumps and bumps on. I was going to, my plan was to roll lots of balls and stick them on, but I thought you guys are going to be so fed up of watching me rolling balls and sticking them on here because this would take me a long time. So I figured this was the quicker way to do it. And what I'm going to do to texture it is I've got a piping nozzle, which I've got icing stuck to already. Um, <clears throat> it's the grass one, isn't it, this one? Yeah, it's a gem 234, 233. Yeah. It's got a bit of yellow in from the llama that I've just done. Um, I think Emily will put links on for you as well so that you guys can see which it is. I've got, I picked up the larger one, but I actually think the smaller one's gonna be better because when I was trying to do around the small bits on its head, um, I was catching the face, so actually the smaller grass version one I think would probably be a little bit better. So I'm going to start in the bottom of its body and I'm kind of pushing in, twisting and kind of, can you see pushing in, lifting, twisting. That's it. Okay. I mean, you don't want to twist too much. It's just kind of rough up the surface a little bit. So I don't need to worry about the underneath because the legs are going to be on that. You're not going to really see it too much, but I'm working, can you see all near the bottom part of it first? 
because that's going to be hard for me to get to if I was working with it on there. Now, if you've made it and you've got hot hands, you might find that when you're holding this, it changes shapes a little bit because the heat from your hand will make it really soft. Whereas mine's still pretty firm because my hands are pretty cold. So if you do find it's very soft, just put it down, give it 10 minutes to go back to room temperature before you pick it up and do this, okay? There's no rush. I say that, I realize I'm rushing through this rather than spending ages. <laughs> but it's only because um, if I spend ages and ages on it, it, it makes a very boring watch for you guys. Okay, so we've done that bottom bit. And you can always go over it again with this at the end. You see, the more I do it, the more kind of little bits come off, but that's fine. It adds to the texture. Now, the water I put on there earlier started to go a little bit sticky. So I can put this now in place on there. So I'm just having a look from the side just to check. Oh, no, I haven't put it on even. That it's going on about central on those legs. Give it a firm press because I don't want to see a gap between... The legs. I don't know if I've actually got this on a camera shot at all. Okay. The weight of it should start to kind of push down a little bit on it anyway. Okay. I'm going to try and push it in a tiny bit more there so that it brings its bottom out a little bit. Ooh, I've made it a little bit longer. Again, if you make it too long, just squeeze it in. That's fine. And now that's on there, we can keep doing this on the rest of the body. Okay. It's just easier now to do this top bit now it's in place, but that underneath bit is just really hard to get to once the body was stuck on. Okay, so I'm keeping going. So if you guys have any questions for me while I'm just doing this, feel free to ask and I'll get Richard to read the questions out because I realize this is the boring bit. Yeah, so ask away. Maybe you haven't got any questions today, I don't know. I haven't got many questions yet. Ooh. Maybe I've explained what I'm doing properly. Usually I forget to tell you all things <laughs> as I'm going along. Did everybody have a nice Easter weekend? Everybody eat lots of chocolate like me. He's always had a lot of chocolate. I figured it was healthier for me if I ate all the eggs in one go rather than spreading them out over a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh look, this llama's in the way of me doing this side. Okay, so maybe I won't fully go all the way around on mine just because it is going to be really boring for you guys. Anywhere where there's a tight kind of dip and curve, it's a little bit harder for you to get into. But don't worry if you press quite hard with this, it's fine. I'm going to mainly work on one side then rather than doing the whole thing. Just because I can't get to the other side. <laughs> so when you're doing yours, give it a piece of polystyrene where it's got all its own space rather than having to share with another llama corn. In fact, maybe I should try taking that one off. I wanted to take it's it off at the end though to show you guys sort of in order of what you do with it. What were you going to say, Richard? I was going to say... What are you... Do you want to... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I can move it around a tiny bit because it's still soft, but yeah, I'm going to struggle to get in there. Okay. So has got a bit of one side that we've not done it on, but the rest is okay. It's got a very thick neck, this one. Very, very thick neck. So you can still squeeze it to the shape you want. Just if you've squeezed it and you've squashed any of the little lines, just go back over it with your little piping nozzle. Okay, we've got a little area here to sit the face in. I think we'll go for a white face again. Again, it's just the Saracino, or Saracino, I might say it wrong, modeling paste that we're using here. So can you see when I start with it, it's a bit kind of crumbly. It's always like that when you start with it. It's not faulty, that's what it's like. And then we give it a bit of a knead. And it should start to become more like chewing gum consistency. And obviously when you're doing it yourselves, you don't have to do it in like half an hour. I'm expecting it to take me about half an hour. These are ones that about 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so I'm expecting this one to take about half an hour. You can spend much longer neatening it up. You can see I, I sort of rushed it a little bit. So, okay, let's see size-wise first. So for this, I'm gonna roll kind of like a, an egg shape-ish. And then I'm gonna hold it against my body so I can see size-wise. It's ended up much taller than the other one, hasn't it? I thought this one was gonna be smaller, but it's not. Um, I'm gonna 
happy with that size? Is it a bit big? Hmm. No, I'm going to leave it that size. I'm just going to smooth it off a little bit more because I didn't worry about the cracks and creases. So taking my ball, we'll roll it a little bit more at one side than the other. And I'm going to put some water in this little dip here. And then we're going to press that into there like that. Should I? Maybe it should be looking towards the other one. I'm going to twist its head slightly that way. Okay, give it a good firm press in. We don't want it to come off. Sometimes I would put a stick through the head to hold it onto the neck, but I think if the dip is in deep enough, it should just rest in there and we shouldn't really have to worry too much about it falling out of place. Okay. Oops, I've got a bit of pink on it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some eye sockets. So kind of about here and here, I think. Or should I go really far? No, I'm going to go here and here. So I'm going to use the ball in tool, the small end, and we're just going to wiggle it up and down a little bit so that we get an oval. The other one I gave closed eyes to because I thought it was easier. <laughs> I'm all for quickness and easiness. I'm going to swap into the big one. Let's see. They may be too big. Okay, let's give it a bit of pink on its cheeks. So just a bit of edible powder. Not too much. So we're just going to go just under each eye. You probably can't see that because the other llama corn's in its way. I'm going to give this one a bit more while I'm just there. I like pink on the cheeks. Okay, eyes open or eyes shut, what do you think? What would people prefer? Maybe I should do eyes open since so everyone's got eyes shut. Yeah, we'll go eyes open this one, I think. Did you bother to check if anybody had suggested? Oh, got this one. Oh, okay. This <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do normally, oh, Richard does normally read what you what you guys are putting, but he's, um, he's over here holding the phone, so he's not next to the the laptop. Okay, so I'm going to, we're going to stick eyes in. So we're going to roll a little oval of white, and then we'll hold it in there first to see what it's like. So that is very bulgy. Yeah, we might even go half of that. So if I divide that in half and use it for both eyes, roughly half, and then we're gonna push that into the eye socket. Now, if it doesn't feel like it's gonna stick, you can put some water in. It's starting to warm up a little bit now. So now it's getting warmer, it's feeling that little bit stickier. Do you want to apologize to people because Richard's worked out how to do split screen, so it might not work all the time. I don't know what that means. You filled in from that one on this one at the moment. That's yeah, I still time. don't know what you mean. Why don't Why don't you tell them? Uh, I apologise. Uh, I've we've got a new toy to that we we've got a new toy that we're using uh, for Facebook Lives and we're trying to do split screens. I'm not not that up to uh, speed with it yet. So if we have any glitches, I apologise if the screen goes black or things are a bit itchy. Itchy. Yeah, that wasn't the word I was looking for, but I couldn't think. Okay. Right, we're going to put some pink on now to fill in around the head. Um, I'm not drawing the lines on the eyes and things yet just because it's a little bit soft so if I give it 10 minutes to firm up it just is going to be easier when we draw on the surface of it. Oh, the pink is much firmer. Sometimes some of the colours are much softer than other colours and then other times they're much harder. I think they're just getting weak. Yeah sometimes if I've had a colour a little while though and I haven't really used it a lot it's sometimes a bit firmer. Okay, this, this piece is probably going to be too big, but let's see. We're going to roll like a little sausage, and I'm just going to put it like some kind of little Mohican. They feel like the tiniest legs ever of my little llama corns. Mm, I'm going to go a little bit smaller. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit of water on the top of the head here. So I want my first piece to kind of come down in the middle here. And I'm just going to overlap it over the back here as well. Probably doesn't need to come quite as low down as that actually. But it's on there now. It's done. Oops, it's wonky. I forgot he's looking to one side, isn't he? So there we go. So each piece I put on, I need to, as I've put it on, texture it. So can you see it moves around a little bit? So just be very careful. And if you're trying to catch the sides of it, just be careful that you don't catch the face and try not to put so much pressure on that you sort of compressing the body downwards too much we don't want those legs to completely sink and disappear it's got like a little mohican at the moment 
then I'm going to start with the little pieces that kind of come either side of sort of the jaw. I don't know if he's, is it the jaw down there? I don't know. They're going to go about here. Side so, bends. Yeah, kind of a bit like his side bends. Okay, so we've got two balls. Now we're going to stick them in here and here. Okay, again, just like we did before, we're going to try and texture that the best we can. And the reason I don't do this before sticking it on is as soon as I press it on, I, I just squish squish the lines back out. It's going to be difficult for me to get to the side. Do you know what? I'm actually going to remove this one now anyway. I know I said I wasn't going to do it to the end, but hopefully it's set enough. So when you remove them, can you see it just slid straight off those skewers? And let's put it down and it should hopefully stand up on its own. So it hasn't actually got any kind of internal supports. So you don't have to then worry about removing anything before giving it to someone. So if like a kid wants to eat it, they can do because there's nothing inside it. Just obviously make sure you wash your hands really well when you're doing this though. Okay, now I can get to the other side of this one. So let's put some texture in on that kind of squashes the ball a little bit. I'm just gonna quickly do this just cause it's annoying me that it doesn't have anything on it there. I suppose I could go over this and do it properly later, couldn't I? Okay, still looks weird, doesn't it? So let's do our next little bit. So we're just gonna do the same thing again. Maybe I'll put a tiny bit more on it this time on each side. See if we can get two balls of similar sizes. No, <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, so a bit more water on the side of the head, each side. And then I should have spent longer rolling these because they've got a few little cracks and creases in. Hopefully we won't notice that too much. Somebody's asked, how do you make it just slide off the skewers because they always get stuck on them when they pull them um, off? Well, it didn't have any water or anything attaching it to the skewers, so it shouldn't stick but also it that was only made like 20 minutes before we started so what i started making that at 10 past 10 yeah. about 10 past 10 so it hasn't really had chance to stick to the skewers anyway um also the skewers weren't very far in so like when i did that one did you see there was just a tiny bit of skewer out the top um so it's not too much to sort of pull out also this is a new dummy and sometimes when the new um, the polystyrene is quite tight on it, so the the sticks are in this firmer than they are in the paste, so they, they just slide off a bit easier. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes, like if I've used a dummy a few times and it's got loads of holes in that dummy, when I slide things off, um, they don't stay in the dummy. The sticks come out with my model. And of, often I leave sticks in the models for these ones, I thought, because they don't need to have them in, we're going to remove them. So can you guys see that now? I realize Richard's at a different angle, sorry. So is it that one you're looking at, Richard? Yeah. yeah. It's got like weird sideburns, hasn't it? So we just kind of keep going it's with this. Sideburns. You what, sorry? It's got weird sideburns. It has got weird sideburns. I realize I've got it facing me and Richard's not at this angle. So I don't know if you guys can see, see what I'm doing too well. Okay. So we're gonna put another couple in here and here. Let's put some water on its head and maybe squash these ones down just a tiny bit. Does it look like it's enough coverage? I can always add more. So again, we're just going to texture them. So this is when, if you guys are doing it, you can spend a long time working on this. And you know, if you wanted to, you could blend it in at the back. I'm going to leave it as it is though. I'm not going to worry about blending it. Okay, I'm gonna add some little holes for ears with my little tool. So I'm just gonna, this little pointy tool is really handy. So ear holes and unicorn horn or lamicorn horn. So I'm gonna push, can you see that in fairly deep to make a little hole? And we'll do the same for the ears. One here, one here. Just makes it easier for them to cling on if they're put into a hole rather than um, just stuck on the surface. Okay, so we want white for our ears. So two little ears. 
definitely put more volume on one side of the face than the other. Normally I would take that off and sort it out, but for today I'm, I'm leaving it. Okay, so two smaller layers. What I'm gonna do is roll like a teardrop and then squash that teardrop down. Do the same with the other one. So roll the ball at one end to get our teardrop and then we'll squish it down. Just stretch it about if it's not the same as the other one. It won't be exactly the same. Just use any kind of tool handle to push. Can you see a little indentation into the middle? Like that. So the point's gonna be the top of area. We're gonna pinch the bottom bit together. Can you guys see that? So pinching that bottom bit. Just hold the camera bit. That's it. Okay. Then I'm gonna put some water on that pinched bit at the bottom of each one. And this is what's gonna be what slots into our hole. The hole probably doesn't need to be quite as big as what I made it, but it's fine. And you can play around with it if you wanna change the shape of the ears, flicking them out, or I don't really know what llamas ears look like. Do they have ears? This is a make-believe creature anyway. Oh, it's a llama corn, isn't it? Do llamas have ears? Everything's got ears. Well, Mammals. do they have ones that you can see? I didn't Google a llama. I should have Googled a llama before we did this, shouldn't I? Then I could, then I could see. Oh, let's do the horn. What colours? So I'm going to go with a bit of yellow. So I'm going to take a small bit of yellow and we're going to roll it nice and thin. Get a nice point on the end. Oops. Let's do the same with a little bit of white. So roll in till we get a nice point on the end. Did anybody tell me if llamas have ears? I don't know. I've not seen anybody yet saying that's fine to fair. I'm just trying to They probably do. I just <laughs> can't remember what things look like. Okay, so we've got um, what other colour? Let's go for this Tiffany blue. I like the Tiffany blue. So it's all just the same paste that we're using. It's all just that Saracino. Oh, I'm just wondering whether I should put pink in it as well, or whether it doesn't need more pink because it's got pink on its body. Zoe, did you always have sculpting skills or is it something you've developed over time? Um, I'm not even and sure I would say I have pink? sculpting skills yet. Uh, yeah, everything develops over time. I mean, I used to love doing like pottery and stuff at school, but that's a long time ago. Um, and then I didn't do anything for a very long time until I started making cakes. Then I guess I started doing like more crafty things again. Do I need pink in the horn or do you think those three colors were right? Um, I did like, I did fashion at university. So I used to do a lot of drawing at university for that. I hated making clothes. I've probably told you all that in a video before, haven't I? Yeah, I wanted to be a wedding dress designer and then I went to university to do fashion and decided that actually I really did hate making clothes. I like drawing them. It's a bit long, I'm gonna pinch a bit off the end. Um, yeah, so I like drawing and designing them, but I just hated actually sewing. Mm, okay, so let's cut this a bit shorter. But yeah, so I used to do bits and pieces in pottery and things when I was at school. A very long time ago. Um, but yeah, they just, your skills develop the more you do. Is that a bit big? That one can have a big unicorn horn, that's fine. I'm just going to make the hole just a little bit bigger to put it into because it's made it quite fat. Let's put a little bit of water just on the inside of that hole and let's insert that in there. Does it look okay? Maybe I should have put pink in that hole. I'm not sure. Okay, it's all right. It doesn't have pink, but it's fine. Let's draw on the face and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more little pink balls to sort of fill it out, but I want to see what the face is going to look like first. This one's going to have open eyes because that one's got closed eyes. I'm just going to draw them on. So, hopefully you guys can see, and you'll be able to see I don't have a steady hand. So I'm gonna draw like an oval in here. It can be looking upwards. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle within that, and we're gonna leave that circle white and try and color around the edge. So I'm just pressing very lightly. I don't wanna to press too hard. I feel like this one could have a little eyebrow. Yes. Should it have eyelashes? Or does it look better without? Let's do the other one first. I guarantee it won't match. 
because I'm not very good at doing two things the same. Everybody that watches me will know that I don't get anything the same ever. Mm, similar, close enough, I think. So let's color this in. Again, I think Emily will put links to the pens and stuff that I'm using for you guys if you want to know what it is I'm using. These are food pens though, they are the edible ones. I've been using them a lot, haven't I, since we bought them. I've used them a lot, they're really handy. Oops. Mm, one looks bigger than the other, but I don't know if actually the white in my eye is bigger in one than the other as well. It's missing an eyebrow. <laughs> Sorry, I realise when I have it facing me. Oops, it's a wonky eyebrow. Let's make the other one wonky too. Can you see how unsteady my hands are? I like this. Um, okay, no, she knows wants to be quite low down, doesn't it? So we're just gonna go for a really simple little triangle and then a little line coming down and then we'll just, I don't even know if you can see this bit, we'll try and flick it up either side, oops. So we get like a little smile. Do you want eyelashes or not? What do you think? Okay, I'm going to give it some anyway. I like to give everything eyelashes. So we're going to try and go around the outside edge a little bit. Oops, maybe went a bit thick. And then off that, we're going to flick out. See a couple of little eyelashes. Two enough, do you think? Let's see if I can go a bit thinner here. No. <laughs> okay. This is where I can't. I can't draw it that side. <laughs> it's gonna have to face me a bit more. Oops, I caught its eye. Okay, let's try again over this. It's funny, I can only draw like in one direction properly. Oh no, it's got an even eyeliner. She's getting even more eyeliner now. To thicken out. You can see it, our hands are really unsteady. I did a workout this morning and I struggled and now my, everything's like, oh. <laughs> even my legs. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Okay, we should just look at her only from one side. <laughs> just on one side only. Yeah, I should have done without the uh, eyelashes. I think I ruined her a bit there. She's <laughs> like, this side's awful. This side's not as bad, but this side's awful. Okay. So she needs a tail and some more bits and pieces here. I'm going to poke the hole in her bum for her tail. We'll do it here. That looks really rude. What? Yeah. Okay, so she's got a hole there so that the tail can go in. We'll do it more like a unicorn's tail than an actual llama's tail, I think. But oh, let me put the pink bits on her head so she doesn't look like she's got a receding hairline. Okay. So I'm just warming that pink back up again because it started to firm up. Also, I left it out and I should have really put it in a bag because it's starting to just dry a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna stick the balls on and then we'll put the patterning on. Again, I'll probably have to face it towards me, I think, when I do this. You might be able to see it from above, but you probably won't be able to see it from the angle that Richard's got it playing at at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna start filling in around here. And it's up to you how big or small you want these to be. Okay. It's like a scene from Ghost, but um, Richard's hands are really in my way. <laughs> these are fairly big. Can you Richard's squeaky shoes? Richard wears these awful squeaky shoes. He can't ever sneak up on anyone ever in those shoes because they squeak so much. Oh good, they're annoyingly squeaky though. So again, we stuck the balls on, then we put the patterning on. And this is the bit that really starts to make a difference now is adding all the extra little balls to everywhere. I think I'm gonna put two up here. And I didn't put water on, I probably should have done, but they might stick, we'll see. Yeah, they're fine. Can you see the squashing again a little bit when I'm putting the texture on? Definitely does need more volume at that side, didn't she? Yes. I speak to Richard and he doesn't answer. Okay, let's maybe put two here. These might be too big, we'll see. Mm. 
They're okay. They're not going to stick though, so let's put some water on. A little bit of water. Just make sure you don't catch water on all the edible pen marks that you've put everywhere. Otherwise, she'll be crying with mascara on. Okay, again, more texture. So it's only a very simple, like, llama corn. It's not got too much detail on its face and things this well. But I wanted to make something where it wasn't going to take you guys ages to do it. Do you think it needs more balls at the front or not? No, I think it'll, like, put some little ones, yeah. Hmm, I can't decide. That one's got three at the front here, but I don't know if it needs them. Hmm. I'm going to put two there, but I'm going to go a bit smaller. And I'm also going to change the shape of the bit below. Um, let's see, I'm just going to use that to push in here and here. So that bit there sticks out a bit more. Did I jab it in the head? Probably. Oh, just make sure that doesn't go wonky. And let's push those over there. Oh, very uneven. Oops, oops. Stay. Who was it that last time asked if I talked to my models? Maybe I was in a class and somebody said, do you talk to your models, Zoe? And I said, no, I don't, but I think maybe I have been talking to it today. Normally I swear at them rather than talking to them. But I try not to do that during the daytime when I'm on a Facebook Live. Okay, she definitely needs another ball at the other side of her head. Everybody be disappearing now because they're like, Zoe, just get on with it. <laughs> just get on with it. Stop sticking balls on it and get on with it. She just doesn't look like she's got enough volume on one side of her head, so I'm just going to add... What's Richard laughing at? Uh, when you said that, I had an answer when you speak to me, somebody said that Hell's Burton doesn't need the person being under the pads here since lockdown. Oh, right. <laughs> That's why Richard will be soon if he uh, annoys me. Okay, it's got very thick neck, my llama corn, hasn't it? Very, very thick neck. Okay, so you can see bits fall off, but that's fine. It's only like tiny bits, it's just to help me rough up the, the surface. So it's got a bit more texture to it. Okay, tail. Let's go with a tail, so big tail. Actually, probably would look quite cute with, let's, uh, let's see both. A little kind of lamb-like tail. Do llamas have tails like lambs? Actually, do some lambs have quite long tails? I wouldn't have a clue. So either a little stump, that's, that's quite a big stump, or like a long tail. I'm just wondering if I can turn this leftover bit from the horn into a bit of tail by rolling it together. That'll do for a strand. Ugh, it's firmed up again. Have I missed any body parts off other than the tail? It wings. Richard wants me to make it wings. Doesn't have wings this one. Llamas have long ears that point inwards. Oh, do they? Yeah. I'm trying to point its ears inwards. I don't think that worked on mine. <laughs> See, really, I should Google pictures of these things before I start. <laughs> I don't forget. Okay. Definitely not got enough heat in my hands to get this going, though. See, this one's gonna have like a super long tail. So let's put some water in there. Let's push that into the hole. It's got a little crack in it there as well. So I think to make sure it's held in place, I'm gonna push it against its bottom under here. I don't know if you guys can see that with a bit of water. Because while it's got the hole in, it's not really holding very well. So if I push that there, And then we kind of stay, stay put. All the other pieces will now have to kind of connect to that one. So water on them. It's got a bit of a scraggy tail now, isn't it? It's like a little rattened tail at the end. <laughs> 
not as I pictured. Let's get some more paste. A bit of the Tiffany blue. Somebody else has said they would love to see wings as well. Oh, man. I'll side in with you, Richard. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Just playing around with, you know, where to put like this bit. I don't think I've actually made it very long. Can you see that? You can see that I've not spent very long needing it because they've all got little lumps and bumps and cracks in. I'm taking it off. <laughs> So um, for anybody that uh, has been to any of Zoe's classes or uh, watched any of our videos before, you'll realise that Zoe does something, doesn't like it, takes it off, starts again. But I think that's part of, part of the model making, isn't it? It is when you haven't really practised what you're doing. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stick all these pieces together. She's probably going to need a bigger hole on the bottom. See if I can twist them together a bit more. I think this end bit is just too long and pointy. It makes it look like a little rat tail. It's a big, big tail, isn't it? That's a huge tail. I don't think it's just going to stick into that without some help. In a bigger hole. <laughs> it still probably won't work. So in situations like this, if it's really not sticking, what I would usually do is I'd just add a cocktail stick, a skewer or something in there to help hold it in place. Um, it's just that I'm trying to avoid putting skewers and things in it so that it's a model that hasn't got anything in. Just because I, I normally, normally most of my things do have skewers and things in. And, oh, it's so bulky and chunky. So we can put extra lines in, in here. Mm, they're not really adding anything to it though. <laughs> like, like my plan was. The tail looks nicer from the back than it does from anywhere else. <laughs> Maybe I'll change it for a little llama tail. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna lift its head upwards a bit more as well. Okay, so you want wings. Oh, we adding wings. Oh, I thought you said some people wanted wings. Yes. Now, what I would have probably done normally would be to find some little heart-shaped cutters. Because I didn't plan on doing this bit, I haven't got the heart-shaped cutters out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a series of teardrops that we're going to put together for the wings. So, let's... We don't want to go too big, otherwise they won't stay up. So we want fairly small little wings. Okay. So one... I say teardrop is more like a little carrot shape, isn't it? One, two, squash them down a little bit. Then we want another two, slightly smaller. Let's see. And I'm gonna squash that. Can you see on the side of that one? I've probably stuck them to my mat as well without realizing. Okay, there's a third one. Will that do as a little wing? That was a good little wing. Okay. I should have really made them pointy again so that they go into a hole. In fact, I might even be able to just rest them on the surface. Again, if you're doing this, you can let them firm up before you actually attach them because it's going to make your life a bit easier if these are firm. Mine are now soft. I don't think I've made it as big on this side as the other side. Definitely doesn't match that one, does it? Okay. <laughs> that one looks neat ish. <laughs> that one doesn't at all. Okay. So I'm just neaten up the point at the end. And then let's see if we can stick them onto there. So I'm going to put a bit of water on that bottom of each one. And let's press. On there. I'm gonna just see if I can push just the corner against its body a little bit to help hold it in place. Do the same on this side. They actually don't look the same size at all now I've put them on, do they? 
Okay, it's got wings. Yeah. Can you see that? It's majestical. It's horrible. <laughs> it's really ugly. Okay, <laughs> we've made an ugly llama corn today. Um, so you see guys, when you're making things and you're playing around, they don't always turn out as you plan. <laughs> a good job it was free and that you didn't pay for it isn't it really <laughs> but play around have a bit of a play around and see what you guys come up with i'm sure you guys can design something nicer with the llama corns than i actually did there <laughs> right okay that's because everybody that watches is nice and polite <laughs> everybody so far that's watched has been nice and polite but yeah um so thursday's the next one isn't it yeah so thursday half ten Thursdays at half ten, we will have prepped and we will know what we're doing before we do I'll it. I'll try to think now of what I'll do next time rather than leaving it 20 minutes before the video starts. <laughs> then it gives me longer to actually pre like practice something. I mean, often I, I don't really practice, but, but I should. <laughs> then you get better results if you've practiced it in advance. Um, yeah. If anybody wants to leave any comments about what we'd like to see next week, we, we try to keep them for about 30 to 40 minutes of Facebook Lives. By how long was it today? Um, I think they've gone back 40 minutes. Oh, okay. 40, 47 minutes, actually. Wow, that would take me longer than I thought it was going to. It's the wings. Yeah. <laughs> and I faffed around <laughs> a lot. <laughs> right, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, hopefully, we'll see you all on Thursday.